Yo guys, it's your favorite YouTuber from TPG. Well, one of your favorite YouTubers from TPG. I gotta realize it's a collab channel. But anyways, we're coming at you with another vlog. Let's talk about... I, it's weird talking with these on, but we're gonna take those off. Let's talk about my YouTube story. Since everybody's doing this YouTube story thing, I might as well come out with a story myself. Now, fortunately for me, I was late to the bandwagon. I'm only 24 doing this YouTube thing, okay? I'm, I'm a young guy, right? So, what made me start YouTube? What started my YouTube career? What, what, what made me want to do YouTube? Um, basically, I was playing Call of Duty Zombies, like Black Ops, Zombies, and whatnot, and did Easter eggs and stuff like that. Yeah, I'm like, you know, it would be cool to fucking record this stuff and post it somewhere, you know? Like, fuck, I had no way to record, no way to get stuff out to the YouTube. I had no camera, I had no phone. I had a second generation iPod, but it wouldn't record any pictures or any film or nothing at all. So, I didn't get into the YouTube channel thing till 20, what was it, 2012. 2012 is when I got into the YouTube thing. And a part of me wishes I would have started sooner and build the other channel I was on from the ground up from where it's at. But I didn't start YouTube till very late. This channel that I'm on with Double started this year. So, but yeah, that's pretty much what it is. Now, how it all started, let's see. Basically, it was back to Boogie298. He's the one who brought me out of a tough state of mind. I do have a video talking about that. I'll link that down below or link that up in the card on the far right corner up here. That explains what he's done for me and for Double and for this channel alone where I'm going to post this video. Um, now, when I started YouTube... I didn't have an intro. I didn't have a good quality camera. My very first video I posted got 40 views. And it didn't really have a title. It was video and then it had a bunch of numbers on it. If you want to see that video, I'll link that in a card or down below in the description. I'll probably link that down below in the description so you guys can check it out. I was scared behind the camera. So what I did was I kind of tilt the camera and viewed my Yu-Gi-Oh deck. That was the first video I've ever posted. Now the second video, I took my brother's iPod that had a camera, like you see here, and I, I, I recorded myself like this, you know, said, yo guys, I think, or no, I think, I didn't say yo guys back then, it was more like, hey guys, it's Thunderstruck here, and I'm so psyched for Black Ops 2, and it's going to be this way. Got like 40 views on that one too, so two, I believe two, six, exec, let me look that up, I think it was two executive uh, 40 view videos. Let me go look real quick. If it'll load. Yeah, let's go to... The channel is called Eric the Tater Rager now. But, um... Um... Let's just go to videos. And let's go from oldest to newest. Yeah, I take that back. The first video was called Video 2012-308-001.bmv, or WMV, and I got 44 views. I did that video three years ago, and then three years ago, prior to that, I did BO2, Thunder is so happy about this, that got 45 views, and my very first zombie escape video that's on this channel got 36 views, then 21 and then I was recording shit on my iPhone for gameplay. Like, I have probably... Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 30 videos of gameplay recording on a iPhone. This iPhone right here. 
And then I finally got a Raxio, and then we start building from there. No face cam because I didn't know how to do that, you know, because I didn't know OBS existed and whatnot. So I was still learning the pro, pro the the recording software and stuff like that. I mean, shit, I come a long way doing YouTube. I mean, if you go back to the Eric the Tater Rager and just go to videos and go all the way to the end, and if you watch all those, you could tell my commentary's gotten better. I was scared to talk in videos <coughs> and stuff like that, and I didn't put tags in my videos, and they were getting some decent views. But I didn't know you had to put tags in your videos. And I'd never put thumbnails on my videos because I didn't know that was a thing. Then it hit me like I, I'm enjoying doing this. If I keep at it and keep going, I could get better and get better, you know. If, once I get better, I can do this thing, you know. It's like, hey, you have an act for this thing. You could do this thing, you know. I got the Raxio. Uh, I, that's the only thing I could afford. I would have got Elgato right away, but I, I just couldn't afford it. I knew I knew the Elgato was the better out of the Roxio, but the Roxio did its job. It got the job done, and that's what I was looking for back then. And it only cost me 120, no, 116 bucks compared to 150. Or I, I no, actually, I think it was 250 at the time for the Elgato. And I did, just didn't have the money. So then. I did that, then I started vlogging with the iPhone, you know, doing, you know, like I would have it backwards like this, it'd be like, or I'll have it sit up, you know, doing vlogs and stuff like that. A lot of zombie, first, when I started YouTube, I wanted to be a strictly zombie channel. I wanted to post COD zombies, any, like COD, uh, like COD zombies, zombie challenges, um, high round attempts on COD zombies. And then go other branch off to other zombie games like um, Dead Nation or whatever, whatever was big back then or whatever. But I decided not to do that. Reason why is because I enjoyed a lot of games. I enjoy all kinds of games like like Yu-Gi-Oh, Yu-Gi-Oh, uh, PlayStation games to COD Zombies to multiplayer to um, platformers like Crash Bandicoot, uh, card games like Hearthstone and stuff like that and cooperative games i'm willing to try stuff new stuff like shadow mordor where i've been playing and stuff like that mad max that i'm joined the hell out of i just uploaded my fifth part that's going to be due out january 2nd um so yeah um then as i start watching boogie some more you wanted me to start doing youtube and the, the first name i came up with for the youtube channel where i was at was called Thunderstruck 14100. That was going to be the username I use. And I would go by the name Thunderstruck or Thunder. And then when I played Zombies, that's where the Thunderstruck Zombies come in. And I was using intros and stuff like that. And then, long behold, I found out Movie Maker. That's how I produced my videos, is with Movie Maker. And it said, Sweet. Me and my buddy recorded a video together, but I didn't know how to capture his audio. I used just my audio. And I didn't know you could live, like, record your voice while you're playing the game. So basically, basically I would record the video. When the video is done, I would commentate over it. Be like, yo, like, well, my intro was, what's going on, YouTube? And we're back with another video of Black Ops 2 Zombies. We're play, doing a, an explosive only challenge on town. Uh, sit there and watch the variety. I'll commentate through it. Hope you guys enjoy this video and stuff like that. That's how, that's how I used to do commentaries. And that was a lot of work to do it like that. Then once I found Movie Maker, like I said before we got into that, I found out that I can get a microphone on this and record my voice on the computer while I recorded the gameplay. I'm like, okay. And then Movie Maker made it easy to align the the uh, commentation, the commentating audio. All I had to do was look for <coughs> when I died and said, damn it, or fuck, I went down, or shit, I went down, or man, I went down. 
once you see that and heard that sound cue, that's when you had to line the audio. Usually about five seconds. That's what I've learned. And then I found out the rack shield can capture the voices in the system. I'm like, are you serious? You that can do that? What it was is it had to come out of the TV, which means that's why you see headphones every time I stream, and that's why you could hear everybody, is because the Raxio was capturing their voice, but they weren't capturing mine, so I had to record my own voice on the computer. Once I figured out dual commentaries, mind blown. Like, oh my god, I didn't know that existed. Like, it, it, it was so good, so great. It fucking blew my mind. And I'm going to remind you, I'm probably going to divide this video into two parts in case I go over 40 minutes. Just the, just a little tidbit there. Because there's a lot of things to talk about about YouTube. I've been doing this thing for three years. So once I figured all that out, and then I decided to come out with a collab partner in Eric. So the channel then became Thunder and Eric 14. Well, Thunder and Eric. Thunder would do... The big time titles and Eric would just do the crappy titles I didn't like. Or then he would rage. He, he was basically... The character wasn't supposed to be Eric. It was supposed to be a different name. I was going to originally call Thunder and Biff. That was going to be the thing. But then I didn't think of it till about two years in to doing YouTube. I'm like, fuck, I could have used Biff this whole time. And no, I decided to use Eric. So, Thunder and Eric came about, and that's how it all started. He would rage about shit that happened to him, stuff like that. And I would just do the gameplay and stuff like that. We would do the Thunder and Eric bloopers and all that, and stuff like that. And then, I found out you had to get tags and put thumbnails on, so I was kind of doing that. Start Starting getting views. I mean, the channel that I left... It's got 25,000 views overall. And it's only got 151 subscribers. That's insane. Insane. And that channel took me three years to get to 100 subscribers. Three years. There is a video on Thunderpulse Gaming that I backlinked from Eric the Tater Razor. It's a Hearthstone video. I believe it's the first stream I ever did this year. I was that channel was at 56 subscribers so that channel has grown quite a bit in this past year which I'm proud of 151 so subscribers may not seem to be a lot to you but it's a lot to me then then I found out streaming now streaming is a different story but I, I'll talk about it I've, I've mentioned this in the past I mentioned this before my very first stream I ever did is when I bought my PS4 for the first time. It was a loud-ass PS4. God, the fucking fan was like a vacuum cleaner. Worst purchase I ever bought. I should have waited, but no, I was so fucking anxious to get it, and I just had to have it. That was a fail and a half. But my very first stream, I streamed Knack. I had no webcam. I had 25 people in my stream. I didn't get a raid at all. No raid. They just stopped by, hung out with me for an hour. I'm like, shit, the streaming thing's cool. You know? My, let's do it. So I, I kept going and kept going at streaming, you know. Because I didn't archive my videos. I just streamed because I wanted to see what it was like. I streamed for about two to three weeks. I noticed I wasn't getting any people in the stream. I stopped that instantly. I didn't start it up. I started it up in 2014. I stopped and just focused on YouTube because five, like one viewer on YouTube was more than enough for me to keep me happy and keep me going compared to Twitch. That's why I stopped Twitch for a year. Then I decided to bring it back 2015 start up. All right, let's just stream for a year, see what happens, and we're at 468 followers. And we gain now at least 5 to 10 viewers a stream, at least. 
I almost wanted to quit streaming again because it's t it's it's a, just a grind, man. Streaming. Same with YouTube. It's a grind posting videos out there. It's who's gonna watch this? Who's gonna watch this video? Who's gonna like my content? Who's gonna share my content? Who's gonna watch it? Who's gonna be like, hey, this is the next big thing? Uh, let's give this guy a sub. Let's give him a shot. You know. So I did YouTube. Which is a good thing because I got better at commentating. Was when I started, I was, I was more scared behind the camera. Now pff, I'll do whatever I fucking want, dude. I'll fucking if I do something funny in a video, I'm throwing it in a blooper video. I'll, I'll, I'll guarantee I'm it. Even if I stutter, it's probably gonna be in a funny moment video. Damn it. <laughs> I thought I was over the stuttering stage, but I guess not. I guess a little bit of Eric to me. He kind of stutters a little bit. But then... But then... Uh, start doing YouTube. Notice I hit 100 subscribers. I think mid-May or... No, I think I hit it in April. No, I think I hit it sooner than that. I think I hit it after I posted the three-year anniversary... Or yeah, three year anniversary of the channel. I posted a Thunder Eric blooper video that got over two hundred views. Well, I put it as a channel trailer. That's why I got that many views. But still, it was getting views, stuff like that. But there is one video out there that I am still impressed that is still growing to this day. It's been around for eleven months and has had two K views. It's the first video I ever got 2K views. And it's a tutorial video on how to get a certain zombie map from a website. Custom zombies. And that video kept climbing, kept climbing, kept climbing. And I'm like, damn. What the hell did I do? I put tags in a video. I put Zomods in the title because when you search Zomods on Google... The video is the second link on Google, so I did something right. Like, shit. 2K views is a lot for me. And I haven't reached a 2K view. I mean, I got a few videos on that other channel that are close that are... I got one that's at 954, and then I got a few other ones that are at 600, 500, 300, 200, 150... But yeah, getting that 2K video, man. I just every day I would go onto that other channel and look at the view. Oh, double, double. That video is going up. You want to know how much it is? 1K. <laughs> then it hit 2K. It's it's great. Then I left Thunder and Eric to start up another channel. Eric was not happy about that, so Eric got his own channel. And I had no idea what to call him now. Because it used to be Thunder and Eric. I, w I was going to call it Eric Raging or Eric Rager. But then I did, then my buddy of mine that goes by the name Pure Evil 390 he's a streamer as well. He usually play custom zombies on this channel as well. And he's like, why don't you call him Eric the Potato Gamer? And then that was taken. So, okay. And then how about you call him Eric the Tater Rager? And it's, st and it's stuck. E-T-T-R. That's when ETTR was born. Once I left uh, Eric or uh, Thunder and Eric. Originally, this channel that I'm on now was supposed to be just a cooperative channel where we play co-op games like GTA Online, um, Call of Duty Zombies. If you had the game, How to Survive, anything co-op related was going to be on this channel until a YouTuber by the name of how do I name you now? We'll say Arg. Well, average rage gamer at the time. He gave us the idea. Why don't you just focus on this one channel? Under you post everything or bring everything over from the other channel you were at. And I told him, dude, I have over 700 videos on that channel. I mean, I was consistent on that channel. He's like, well, it's up to you. But I think it would be a good idea because me and Double were good together. And I was always looking for a collab partner. And he said no at first. Then I waited a month and then he said yes. So basically what I was doing, 
I was going to re-upload every single video that I've done on the channel that was more. But I said, that's too much work. So I decided to backlink everything. And that's what I did. And then now it's grown to something else where I took myself out of Thunder and Eric, put myself in Thunder Pulse Gaming. I'm uploading stuff there. Now, It I'm having a blast doing videos with Double. We just got done doing a huge series on the channel, um, 25 Days Till Christmas, Custom Zombies Edition, where we played through at least 24 zombie maps Christmas related. And... 40 videos within 25 days. That's insane pushing. <sighs> I have fun doing YouTube. Now, another thing I got to bring up. We started this channel May 12, 2015. We had probably 10 subscribers. Because we were broadcasting on our personal channels. Then we got that push from ARG to bring us up to, we were up to 40. We got 40 on our own. We were at like 40 or 45 on our own. And once I decided to move, bring everything over, everybody was seeing the uploads consistent. Then ARG gave us a push and got us to 75. And then it just got easier from there. Then we reached 100. And then now we're at 168. And that channel's only been up since May. It's only been up for seven months. It's going on eight months in January. When January 12th hits, it'll be eight months it's been up. And that's a fast pace compared to the other channel. The other channel took three years to get to 100 subscribers. For this channel to reach 168 and not even a year up, mind blowing. So basically, it's the same concept as Thunder and Eric. It's Thunder and Double, Thunder Pulse Gaming. I upload stuff on my side because we have Thunder individual gameplays that I'm doing, like Matt and like Mad Max baseball and all that. Then we got Thunder Pulse Gaming stuff, or we stream or do co-op games together like Dying Light and all that GTA and stuff like that and then Double when he gets situated he's going to have his own side of stuff or Double Let's Plays or Double Plays or whatever he wants to call the series so we're barely understanding each other we, we're I, I guess we're covering each other's weaknesses and that's what I would like that's what I like like I'll title something. Be like, hey, why don't you title it this way? And he'll change it. And I'm like, oh, yeah, that's good. I don't know why I didn't think of it like that. And then basically coming over to this channel, it makes me start over and put tags in my videos, do thumbnails and all that good stuff. So, yeah, I've, I've come a long way with YouTube. I mean, I'm in Michigan, doubles in California, but the power of Skype, that's how we're doing this collab thing. And OBS as well. OBS, I use that for everything. I use that to record my videos, use it to stream. Elgato makes it easy just to record videos with a webcam. I've been using a lot of face cam now. I never used to do that. And now I use face cam in a lot of my videos. I think it's mandatory. I kind of wish I could get it to where Double's face cam would be on it. But the only problem is I don't do it. This is because Skype's not very good with quality sometimes, but we do do the podcast windows um, like you see here. If we do a video together, you'll see this type of podcast window. He'll be on the right, I'll be on the left. He's orange and I'm blue because I love blue. That's my favorite color. So That's how we usually do videos together. Like, if we vlog, that this window is going to be the window we use to vlog. So, that's that. Basically, that's my YouTube story. I mean, now I'm getting to the point where I'm uploading three videos a day. 
then I find out about scheduling videos, which is so much easier. Um, <coughs> and then I've been using my Twitch streams because I archive my streams and then using those, highlighting the one the videos that look were good in the stream. I've been dividing that up in the in my hit highlights and then bringing them over to TPG. I did have Thunder live streams. I haven't uploaded in that in four weeks. Um, I don't, I don't even think that channel is going to be back alive unless I stream some nah, or some Crash Bandicoot three because I'll be uploading probably the whole stream over there and um, Shadow of Mordor as well and base. Baseball, I don't know. I, I'm process of getting all those videos over and stuff like that, and it just Thunder live streams was just basically a storage unit for my live streams, and then if I wanted to use any of those videos for TPG, I would bring them over. But now I'm highlighting the videos, so now when Baseball 2016 or you know MLB 16 the show shows up, I'm gonna be good and ready because every stream, if I do MLB, it's gonna be ready to go for the channel, like that. So, I think I've learned a thing or two about editing videos with the three years of doing this. I feel like I have the experience now that I, I, I like to make funny moment montage videos. Like, I, I enjoy doing those types of videos. They're fun to make. I mean, they are really fun to make. I enjoy making them. I enjoy when they get at least 20 views on those types of videos. Or even 15. I just uploaded a zombie escape montage of all the escapes I have done playing Call of Duty Zombies. That's three years of content in ten and a half, ten minutes and 52 seconds. An hour's worth of footage I had to cut. <laughs> so you guys didn't have to see the full, you know, the full thing. You could just hurry up and see the escape and then move on to the next video. But yeah, a lot of funny moment montages. I love do I love doing those types of videos. Those take a little time to work, but that's okay, because I'll have videos to cover that time frame to, to to work on more videos. So, and 2016 is upon us. You're still gonna expect three, three videos a day on TPG. I'm going to probably drop it once Double starts uploading two videos on his side and then we'll up upload two videos on my side. Maybe we'll upload um, a third, uh, fifth video if we upload a TPG video. But I'm thinking I'll upload a video of my own and then if I upload a TPG video, he can upload two videos. So this still counts as like two uploads, four uploads a day. Um, streaming's been fun. Gaining people, met a lot of cool YouTubers, like I met, well I didn't meet them, but I know them, like Ar I consider Arg a friend, Boogie United A, a savior of mine, and friend, and one day we need to meet Boogie United A, Double Pulse, best collab partner I could, I could ask for, I mean shit, we're funny together, <laughs> those custom zombie Christmas maps, I got a lot of work to do, because there's a lot of funny ass moments I can't wait to put together. Because he's funny. He, he, he barely played zombies. He's learning. And it's just fun how he reacts to some of the stuff I do when I play zombies. It's insane. I mean, this is insane. I love doing this. I, then I went and got a... A blue snowball I was using headsets stuff like that and I got blue snowball it works great for quality then I got a webcam that you're seeing now games over here to play I want to stream some ps2 games but I don't know if that's gonna happen I don't know man mine's just blown I'm thinking about doing a series on TPG reacting to some of my old videos that I've done in the past let me know down below if you would like to see those types of videos. I wouldn't mind doing them. Power of OBS, I could do fucking anything. Um, and I'll have Eric react to his old videos as well on his channel. Um, Alright, I think that's going to be it for this video. 
It went on longer than I wanted it to. It's almost a half hour. So if you stuck around this whole video, I thank you. I appreciate you. Thanks for watching. You know where to find me. You can follow me on Twitter. You can follow me on Twitch. You can follow me on YouTube. You can like our Facebook page, Thunderbolts Gaming. You can like Eric the Tater Raider's Facebook page. You can like, and he's been streaming on ETTR now. He did his second stream. He did his second stream today of Pokemon, which I'm surprised he's not getting copyright for, but it never works. And, um,. Me and Double are just going to keep pushing until we hit that good video where you guys just fucking go nuts about it. And um, we're just going to keep plucking away. People come and go. I mean, we're getting comments on our videos. That's all we can ask for. So. Alright guys, if you guys enjoyed that video, make sure you subscribe for more content. And all the social media links are down below in the description. As always guys, Thanks for watching, and it's Thunder. Peace out till next time, and make sure you have a great day. And TPG out. Goodbye. Sorry, Double, I had to do.